Haida Gwaii, formerly known as the Queen Charlotte Islands and the Charlottes, is an archipelago on the north coast of British Columbia, Canada. Approximately half of its population is of the Haida people. The islands are separated from the British Columbia mainland to the east by Hecate Strait. Vancouver Island lies to the south, across Queen Charlotte Sound, while the U.S. state of Alaska is to the north, across the disputed Dixon entrance. Haida Gwaii consists of two main islands, Graham Island in the north and Moresby Island in the south, along with approximately 150 smaller islands with a total land mass of 10,180 km2. Other major islands include Antony, Langra, Louise, Lille, Burnaby, and Cungit Islands. A parallel name to Queen Charlotte Islands used by American traders, who frequented the islands in the days of the marine fur trade and considered the islands part of the U.S. claimed Oregon country, was Washington's Isles. Some of the islands are protected under federal legislation as Guayhanas National Park Reserve and Haida Heritage Site which is mostly Moresby Island and adjoining islands and islets. Also protected, but under provincial legislation, are several provincial parks, the largest of which is Nakoon Provincial Park on northeastern Graham Island. The islands are home to an abundance of wildlife, including the largest subspecies of black bear, and also the smallest subspecies and the subspecies of stoat muscular ermine hadarum. Black-tailed deer and raccoon are introduced species that have become abundant. On June 3, 2010, the Haida Gwaii Reconciliation Act officially renamed the islands Haida Gwaii as part of a reconciliation protocol between British Columbia and the Haida people. Transportation The primary transportation links between the islands and mainland British Columbia are through the Sandspit Airport, the Masset Airport and the BC Ferries Terminal at Skydergate. The westernmost leg of Highway 16 connects Masset and Skydergate on Graham Island, and Skydergate with Prince Rupert on the mainland via regular BC ferries service by the MV Northern Adventure. There is also regular BC ferries service between Skydergate and Alaford Bay on Moresby Island. Float plane services connect to facilities such as the Alaford Bay Water Aerodrome and Masset Water Aerodrome. Economy The economy is mixed including art and natural resources, primarily logging and commercial fishing. Furthermore, service industries and government jobs provide about one-third of the jobs, and tourism has become a more prominent part of the economy in recent years, especially for fishing and tour guides, cycling, camping, and adventure tourism. Aboriginal culture tourism has been enhanced with the establishment of the Haida Heritage Center at Kailnyaga. Education Public education is provided through School District 50 Haida Gwaii, which operates elementary and secondary schools in Masset, Port Clements, Queen Charlotte, Sandspit, and Skydergate. Higher education programs are offered at the Haida Heritage Centre in partnership with the Northwest Community College, University of Northern British Columbia, and with the Haida Gwaii Higher Education Society. Healthcare Publicly funded health services are provided by Northern Health, the regional health authority responsible for the northern half of the province. The existing Queen Charlotte General Hospital was built in 1953 and opened in 1955. Its size is approximately 1670 square meters. In 2013, construction started on the same site for a $50 million, two-story replacement hospital, approximately 5,000 square meters. Construction of the new Queen Charlotte Haida Gwaii Hospital will be cost chaired by the province and the Northwest Regional Hospital District. It will open in 2015. Haida Gwaii has four British Columbia Ambulance Service stations, staffed by 36 part time paramedics. The first full time paramedic was hired after the controversial death in 2014 of Godfrey Williams, a Skydergate band counselor who died from a heart attack after waiting for more than an hour for an ambulance to arrive from a station 10 minutes away. The issue resulted in a review of ambulance services for Haida Gwaii by BC Emergency Health Services. Population At the time of colonial contact, the population was roughly 10,000 people, residing in several towns and including slave populations drawn from other clans of Haida as well as other tribes. It is estimated that 90% of the population died during the 1800s from smallpox. 
other diseases arrived as well, including typhoid, measles, and syphilis, affecting many more inhabitants. By 1900, only 350 people remained. Towns were abandoned as people left their homes for the towns of Skydergate and Masset, for Canary towns on the mainland, or for Vancouver Island. Today, only some 4,500 people live on the islands. About 70% of the indigenous people live in two communities at Skydergate and Old Masset, with a population of about 700 each. In total the Haida make up 45% of the population of the islands. Antony Island and the island of Ninstins were made a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2006. In the decision, the decline in population wrought by disease was referenced when citing the vanished civilization of the Haida. History Haida Gwaii is considered by scientists as an option for a Pacific coastal route taken by the first humans migrating to the Americas from the Bering Strait. It is unclear how people arrived on Haida Gwaii. But archaeological sites have established human habitation on the islands as far back as 13,000 years ago. Underwater archaeologists are seeking to confirm that stone structures discovered in 2014 on the seabed of Hecate Strait may date back 13,700 or more years ago and be the earliest known signs of human habitation in Canada. Equals pre-colonial era equals the settlement of the Americas coastal migration hypothesis suggests that the first North Americans may have been here as the oldest human remains known from Alaska or Canada are from on your knees cave. Anthropologists have found striking parallels between the myths, rituals, and dwelling types of the Karayaks, inhabitants of the Kamkatka Peninsula, and those of the native peoples of America's northwest coast. At this time the island was twice as large as today. There is strong genetic evidence for these early people having an origin there. The Karayaks were a matrilinear seafaring people hunting whales and other marine mammals. Their god was Kajin Jaku, the raven. Most of the raven myths are similar to those of the Karayak. The group of people inhabiting these islands developed a culture made rich by the abundance of the land and sea. These people became the Haida. The Haida were a matriarchal society. The women made the decisions prior to European discovery. The Haida are a linguistically distinct group, and they have a complex class and rank system consisting of two main clans, eagles and ravens. Links and diversity within the Haida nation was gained through a cross-lineal marriage system between the clans. This system was also important for the transfer of wealth within the nation, with each clan reliant on the other for the building of longhouses, the carving of totem poles and other items of cultural importance. Noted seafarers, the Haida occupied more than 100 villages throughout the islands. The Haida were skilled traders, with established trade links with their neighboring First Nations on the mainland to California and perhaps to Mexico Euro unregistered trademark S. Yucata N. Peninsula. The Haida had a stable existence and vibrant culture at the time of European contact. It is possible that the people of Haida Gwaii migrated to Mexico, Central America, and South America and that these people are closely genetically related. Equals colonial era equals. The archipelago was visited by Europeans in 1774 by Juan Pa Copyright Res, at Langra Island, and in 1778 by James Cook. In 1794, the Haida captured and sank a pair of European vessels. Eno and Resolution, that were seeking to trade for sea otter pelts. Most of the ship's crew were killed. In 1851, the Haida captured the Georgiana, a ship carrying gold prospectors, and held its crew for ransom for nearly two months. The islands played an important role during the maritime fur trade era of the late 18th and early 19th centuries. During most of that era the trade in the islands was dominated by Americans. The Oregon Treaty of 1846 put an end to American claims to the islands. Following the discovery of gold in the 1850s the British made efforts to exclude whatever American territorial claims might remain. The colony of the Queen Charlotte Islands was a British colony constituting the archipelago of the same name from 1853 to July 1863, when it was amalgamated into the colony of British Columbia. 
The colony of the Queen Charlotte Islands was created by the Colonial Office in response to the increase in American marine trading activity resulting from the Gold Rush on Moresby Island in 1851. No separate administration or capital for the colony was ever established, as its only officer or appointee was James Douglas, who was simultaneously governor of Vancouver Island. In essence, the colony was merged with a Vancouver Island colony for administrative purposes from the 1850s to 1866 when the colony of Vancouver Island was merged with the mainland, which until that point was the separate colony of British Columbia. Naming In 1787 Captain George Dixon surveyed the islands. He named the islands the Queen Charlotte Islands after his ship, the Queen Charlotte, which was named after Charlotte of mecklenburg strelitz wife of King George III of the United Kingdom. The name Haida Gwaii is a modern coinage and was created in the early 1980s as an alternative to the colonial era name Queen Charlotte Islands, to recognize the history of the Haida people. Haida Gwaii means islands of the people, while Haida on its own means not only us, but also people. On December 11, 2009, the BC government announced that legislation would be introduced in mid-2010 to officially rename the Queen Charlotte Islands as Haida Gwaii. The legislation received royal assent on June 3, 2010, formalizing the name change. This name change is officially recognized by all levels of Canadian governments, and also by the United States National Geospatial Intelligence Agency name database. Still in use is the older name Kshadala Gwaii, or in alternative orthography, Xhadlid Lagagorai, meaning islands at the boundary of the world. Xhadla refers here to the sea and sky. Environment Research by Simon Fraser University concludes that Taida Gwaii around 55,000 BCE was likely covered with tundra and low meadows that were populated by grazing mammals, including caribou and mammoths. Although no mammoth or mastodon fossils were found, the research discovered dung-eating fungi underground in ancient peat by the Cape Ball site in Nakhoon Provincial Park on Graham Island. The tundra-like landscape then evolved to a mix of alpine forest and meadows. The last Pleistocene glaciation receded from the archipelago about 16,000 BCE, about 2,000 years earlier than the rest of the British Columbia coast's ice age. That, and its subsequent isolation from the mainland, encouraged Haida indigenous and environmental activists in the 1970s to use the term Galapagos of the North, a unique biocultural zone with many endemic plants and animals. The climate of this temperate North Hemisphere forested region, like that of much of the British Columbia and Alaskan coast in the area, is moderated by the North Pacific Current, with heavy rainfall and relatively mild temperatures throughout the year. The islands are home to the Tyan Forest with a wide variety of large endemic trees, including the Sitka spruce, western red cedar, yellow cedar, shore pine, western hemlock, mountain hemlock, and red alder. The flora of the Queen Charlotte Islands describes plants from the islands. Soils are variable. Peat is common in poorly drained flats and even on sloping ground in the wetter areas. Where drainage is good, the mature soils are podsols which have classic development in undisturbed areas. A history of disturbance, as from logging, sees the E mixed with other horizons and only patchily visible. Kedkayas, a naturally occurring genetic variant yellow color Sitka spruce tree, was near the Yakun River, the largest on Graham Island. It was a popular tourist attraction until it was illegally cut down in 1997 as a protest against the industrial logging practices. From the spring of 1996 until November 30, 1997 a popular attraction for tourists to the islands was the male albino white raven. He lived around Port Clements and would commonly be seen taking food handouts from locals and visitors alike. He died after making contact with an electrical transformer. The White Raven was preserved by former Port Clements residents, taxidermists Roger Britton Sr. and J.R., and is on display in the Port Clements Historical Society's Museum. Climate The climate is oceanic, except near the summit of Mount Moresby where the climate is subpolar oceanic. It is very similar to the climate of the west coast of Scotland in terms of average temperatures and precipitation, but the latitude is lower than the west coast of Scotland. It is 52 a degree 39 feet, 
the same as Southern Ireland, but is colder. Temperatures are moderate year-round, whilst rainfall is generally heavy especially in the autumn months, when in the most exposed southwestern areas near Tassu daily rainfalls as high as 317 mm have been recorded, and the annual rainfalls are among the highest in the world outside the tropics. In the relatively shielded areas around Lille and Sands but annual rainfall averages from 1,200 mm to 1,400 mm. Snowfall is generally moderate, averaging from 10 cm to 70 cm, though at northerly Langra Island it averages around 100 cm. Precipitation is typically extremely frequent, occurring on around two-thirds of all days even in relatively shielded areas, and direct sunlight is scarce averaging around 3 to 4 hours per day. Equals 2012 controversy around depositing iron in the ocean equals, in July 2012, entrepreneur Ross George dispersed 100 short tons of iron sulfate dust into the Pacific Ocean several hundred miles west of the islands of Haida Gwaii. The old Masset Village Council was persuaded to finance this geoengineering project as a salmon enhancement project with $1 million in village funds. The concept was that the formerly iron-deficient waters would produce more phytoplankton that would in turn produce more salmon. George hoped to finance the project by using the carbon sequestration effects of the new plankton as marketable carbon offsets. The project has been plagued by charges of unscientific procedures and recklessness. George contended that 100 tons of iron is negligible compared to what naturally enters the ocean. Lawyers, environmentalists, and civil society groups are calling the dumping a blatant violation of two international moratoriums. George said that the Old Masset Village Council and its lawyers approved the effort and at least seven Canadian agencies were aware of it. In May 2013, the Haida Salmon Restoration Corporation removed George as a director of the company and ended his employment. The 2013 salmon runs defied all expectations, more than quadrupling from 50 million to 226 million fish. However, many environmental groups objected to the process. Geology equals earthquake hazards equals. The islands are located along the Queen Charlotte Fault, an active transformed fault that produces significant earthquakes every 3 Euro 30 years. This is the result of the converging of the Pacific and North American plates along the archipelago's west coast. Major earthquakes have occurred in the Haida Gwaii in 1949 and 2012. Though the region is prone to fair geological activity, there is little infrastructure set up to gather accurate information to warn locals of possible threats. Many residents, notably from First Nations communities, have been critical of the fact that they must rely on information coming from neighboring American states such as Washington or Alaska and from the USGS. Regardless of the inconsistencies, Environment Canada does regularly do field tests across the Pacific coast of British Columbia relating to this matter. The Cascadia subduction zone does pose some additional earthquake risks, but most importantly the subduction zone poses direct tsunami risks to the coastal settlements on the western side of the islands. Culture equals visual arts equals The artwork known as Spirit of Haida Gwaii, by Bill Reed is featured on the reverse of Canadian $20 bills produced between 2004 and 2011. It depicts a Haida chief in a canoe, accompanied by the mythic messengers Raven, Frog and Eagle. Haida art is also frequently seen on large monumental-sized cedar totem poles and dugout canoes, handcrafted gold and silver jewelry, and even as cartoons in the form of Haida manga. Equals Haida language equals the Haida language was proposed for classification as part of the Nadine family of languages on the basis of a few similarities with the Tabascana Euro Ilaica Euro Tlingit. Many linguists, however, consider the evidence insufficient and continue to regard Haida as a language isolate. All 50 remaining speakers of Haida are over 70 years old. Talis and Gwaii Trust recently completed a project to bring broadband internet to the island via a 150 km microwave relay. This enables interactive research to be carried out on the more than 80 CDs of language, story and spoken history of the people. Equals and popular culture equals, 
Haida Gwaii has been featured in the Nature of Things documentary since the 1970s due to its unique forest and ecosystem. Many wildlife and adventure tourism TV series have also featured the island since the 1990s, reflecting the islands as a globe trekking location. Haida Gwaii and the people who live there are the subject of the Hot Docs award winning documentary Haida Gwaii, On the Edge of the World, directed by Charles Wilkinson. Although Canadian sitcoms and comedians have made fun of the island chain due to its environmental connections since the 1970s, no Canadian television series has been placed there. There is one web video blog relating to living on the Islander Euro mainly being off-grid. They are a location in the novel Generation A by Douglas Copeland. Poet Robert Bringhurst published a series of translations of stories as told by the myth-tellers Gandal and Ska. They have been criticized as cultural appropriation by some Haida. Portions of the book The Silver Totem of Shame, by Canadian author J. Harlick, are set in Haida Gwaii. Sailing in Haida Gwaii is featured in Robin S. Rock's best selling book The Great Canadian Bucket List. See also Council of the Haida Nation, Denevi Euro Yenisi in Languages, Goyuja, Haida Language, Haida People, Indigenous Peoples of Siberia, La Fex, Nardine languages, Paleo Siberian languages, Haida Gwai, on the edge of the world. References External links Village of Queen Charlotte, Sandspit Community Website, Village of Masset, Village of Port Clements, Council of the Haida Nation, Haida Heritage Center at Kalnegar, The Haida Gwai Observer, Local Newspaper, Pelmorex Incorporated Statistics. The Weather Network. Retrieved April 23, 2014.